a title, a top 10 world ranking, and continued domination in his hometown will all be on the line when Mike Gavronsky steps into the ring on November 18. Gavronsky will fight Andrew Hernandez for the vacant WBA North American Boxing Association Super Middleweight Championship in the main event of Battle at the Boat 113 at the Emerald Queen Casino in Tacoma, Washington. Gavronsky, currently ranked no. 5 by the NABA, number 5 by the USBA and number 2 by the NABF, has been simply unstoppable over the last year, going a perfect 40 while placing himself on the verge of a top 10 world ranking in the process. Gavronsky is 2,421 with 15 KOs and is coming off a dominating performance over Brian Vera on September 9, winning by TKO. It was Gavronsky's 11th victory in his hometown of Tacoma in 12 career fights. I love fighting in front of the Tacoma fans, fighting in front of my friends and family, but also fighting in front of people who haven't seen me before and turning them into new fans, said Gavronsky, who signed a multiple-year promotional contract with Brian Hallquest Productions in October. After winning numerous amateur titles, including a pair of Tacoma Golden Gloves championships, Gavronsky made his professional debut on January 9, 2010 at the Emerald Queen by defeating Darren Anzai by TKO. He brings a four-fight winning streak into the title contest, also defeating Quinton Rankin, Thomas of Imbono and Jake Carr, four fighters with a combined 4,873 record. Gavronsky was a product of the Tacoma Boys Club as an amateur, a program that produced Olympic gold medalists Leo Randolph and Sugar Ray Seals along with future world champions Rocky Lockridge and Johnny Bumpus. A victory over Hernandez will go a long way in Gavronsky's path towards becoming the City of Destiny's newest world tit list. I'm excited, not just for myself, but for Tacoma, said Gavronsky about Tacoma which also the hometown of former world middleweight champion Freddie Steele, among other historical standouts. This city has a great boxing tradition. I'm looking to add to it. Gavronsky is coming off his strongest 12-month stretch during his pro career, ending co-artist a Wimbono's 18-fight winning streak, Australian champion Carr's 11-fight winning streak, and a 3-fight winning streak by Vera, who owns a victory over former WBC World Super Welterweight Sergio Mora. Mike has been incredible over the last year, Hawkwest said. He's now in the conversation for a top 10 world ranking. A Naba title victory will place him right on the doorstep of fighting for a world title in 2018. Hernandez, a former WBA and ABA USA middleweight champion, is 1971 with 9 KOs. His lone Emerald Queen Casino fight came on March 26, 2016 when he defeated former world title contender Denicio Miranda. Tickets are available through the EQC box office and all Ticketmaster outlets. Preliminary bouts will start at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6 p.m. The main event will be one of six fights on the card, which will also feature a semi-main event between Andre Keys 410, Ko and Sean G 460 and a battle of unbeaten 169, Pounders and Fat Lumzuda 401, 3 KOs and Kian Heyderi 101. Battle at the Boat 113 will feature the VIP experience with third row seats being discounted to $75 per ticket. All fans seated in in the VIP section rows 13 will have an exclusive access point and a dedicated server to help create a true VIP experience. Prince Ranch Boxing PRB has signed managerial agreements with four standout prospects from Mexico, Super Featherweight Edwin Davila 160, 9 KOs. Featherweights Isaac Avelar 130, 8 KOs, Mexico Featherweight Titlis Daniel Kalula 1212, 3 KOs, and female Myron Salazar 62. All fighters were signed to Damian Vasquez as Sugar Promotions and will fight constantly in Aguas Calientes, Mexico. Signing talent from Mexico is a vital piece to my operation, said Greg Hanley. Our goal here at Prince Ranch Boxing is to have a solid foundation of fighters from Mexico, in addition to having great talent from America. Sugar Promotions will be having multiple shows in Mexico in the next 12 months, so as a promoter, they are a perfect fit for my fighters. Sugar Promotions had their first show last week in Aguascalientes, Mexico. Their next show will be scheduled before the end of 2017. Davila, Avelar, Kalula and Salazar are very popular in Mexico and Sugar Promotions is happy to sign them to promotions agreements, stated Oscar Vasquez. Is. Our next show happening in December will be announced shortly. I have big plans for sugar promotions moving forward.
Undefeated election welterweight prospect Tyrone Pretty Boy James, 50, 3 KOs, of Elmont, NY faces veteran Daniel Soster, 13,141, 5 KOs, in a six-round clash on Saturday, November 11th from Long Island's NYCB Live, home of the NASA Veterans Memorial Coliseum on the non-televised portion of the HBO World Championship Boxing Triple Header. It was announced by Joe DiGuardia, CEO and President of Star Boxing, the 26-year-old James, whose father played professional football, has quickly impressed local fight fans since his pro debut in November 2015, including his last four victories at famed venue, the Paramount in Huntington, New York. I'm very excited to be fighting so close to home and on such a huge card. As soon as Joe DeGuardia called to offer me the opportunity I jumped at it, said James. I was at the first boxing card in July at the Coliseum and knew I wanted to fight there. It's a great place for my family and friends to see me in a bigger venue, so Stray has fought a lot of tough fighters and has more experience than me but he'll be ready on November 11th for victory, continued James who works in the Nassau County Sanitation Department, stated to Guardia, this is an excellent opportunity and a true test for Tyrone and we're thrilled to announce his addition to this sensational card. He has a very crowd-pleasing style and his last four fights at the Paramount have shown that local boxing fans want to see more of him. We look forward to another great performance from him on November 11th. Soster, a native of Highland, NY, has fought a long list of top contenders and prospects over his 12-year career, including Whale Omodoso, Michael Zefsky, Raymond Serrano, Gabriel Brachero, Ray Robinson and Michael Fox. The HBO World Championship boxing event is headlined by a 12-round middleweight showdown between Daniel Miracle Man Jacobs taking on Luis Arias and rising heavyweight Yarrell Big Baby Miller squaring off with Mario's walk in the co-main. In the opening battle, out of the telecast, Long Island fan favorite Cletus the Hebrew Hammer Selden battles Roberto Massa Ortiz in a highly anticipated 10-round junior welterweight clash, the one to watch, 25-year-old knockout sensation Shojin descendant of Tamar Lane Ergashev has been added to the untelevised undercard of the Saturday November 11th, Danny Jacobs vs. Luis Arias and Yarel Miller vs. Mario's Walk Boxing Event at NYCB Live NASA Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Uniondale, New York, Jacobs vs. Arias and Miller vs. Walk are presented by Matchroom Boxing USA, in association with Brooklyn Sports Entertainment, Salida Promotions and Rock Nation Sports. It will be televised live on HBO World Championship Boxing, beginning at 10.00 p.m. ETPT. Tickets can be purchased at Ticketmaster.com, NYCBlive.com, by calling 8,007,453,000 or at the Ticketmaster box office at the Coliseum. Considered one of the best current prospects coming out of Central Asia, the popular Argish of 99 KOs is a former four-time national champion in his home country. As a professional, the dangerous Southpaw has won his last five fights in the first round. I came to the U.S. to show that I am the best fighter in the world, said Argashev. I look for the knockout in every fight and November 11th is no different. It's my biggest stage and I will put on a show to prepare for his six-round showdown. Ergashev is training at Kronk Gym in Detroit with well-known Javin Sugarhill Stewart, who says he is looking fearsome in sparring. He's a big puncher, with good athleticism and great potential, said Stewart. I look forward to working with him and seeing him develop in the talent-trick junior welterweight division. Promoter Dmitry Salida says although Argashev is a new name in the United States, he is already well known in his Uzbek community. Show has the power, skills and charisma to be a star in boxing, said Salida. He has a very loyal fan base as well. Although it's his first fight in the U.S., he will have hundreds of people from his community in New York City and from around the country, and even from Russia, coming to support him on November 11 in his last appearance, in June at the Floyd Mayweather Boxing Academy in Zukovka, Russia, Argashev needed less than a minute to knock opponent Sanadolo Rakhmatulov down twice and stop him at 5 of the first round. In other action that night, undefeated New York City police officer Dimash Lightning Niles of 120, 5 KOs born in Shymkent, Kazakhstan, now residing in Staten Island, NY, will also fight in a six-round lightweight bout on the non-televised portion of the undercard. Tags shocks Han Ergashev Tyrone James.